What's up you guys? It's me Astrid the Manglet and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, gagawa na naman tayo ng panibagong video at ang video ang gagawin natin ay 10 things teachers should avoid doing. So hindi po ako again sa mga teachers and I salute them. I salute the teachers out there. You are our hero. So there are some things na we should avoid doing. Nag-research po ako about dito sa content na to and gusto ko rin i-share sa inyo kung ano yung mga mga dapat i-avoid ng mga teachers during classes. So start na natin. So ang unang-unang dapat i-avoid ng mga teacher is pointing this finger. So you should avoid pointing this finger because in other countries it represents a rude gesture. So ayun, tapos na natin yung discussion ngayon. So sinong may tanong sa inyo? Alisa, anong tanong mo Alisa? So mas better na lang gamitin yung whole na kamay para mas formal siya. So ayun, tapos na natin yung discussion. So sinong may tanong sa inyo? Alisa, anong tanong mo Alisa? So the second thing is dapat habang nag-lecture ang isang teacher is dapat nakatingin siya sa mga students niya. And dapat din ah, hindi, hindi siya nakatingin sa likod kasi parang hindi siya nakikicommunicate sa mga students niya. So better yet, look at your students and focus on them so that they can focus on you too. So our topic for today is about the integers. So an integer is any positive or any negative number. So our topic for today is about the integers. So an integer is any positive or any negative number. So the third thing that teachers should avoid is letting their students find their own group. So ang susunod na activity natin ngayon ay by group. So find your own group na lang. Find your own group. Hindi lahat ng students ay very friendly and hindi lahat ng students ay very active sa isang classroom. So better yet, ikaw na lang mag-group sa kanila para yung iba naman hindi hindi sila ma-left out. Kasi yung iba nahihiya, yung iba hindi sila pala active, hindi sila pala sagot. So bet better ikaw na lang mag-group sa kanila as a teacher naman. So the fourth thing that teachers should avoid is giving a bad compliments to students. So as you all know, tapos ko na i-check yung test paper nyo and you did a very great job. But some of you have a low grade. So here it is. Ami, great job. Great job. Aliza, you're doing great. Continue the good job. Joshua, what have you done? Do you even read your notes? Hindi ka ba nagre-review? Imagine yourself na pinagsabihan ka ng, ano, di ba nakakababa siya ng confidence. So, better yet, sabihin mo na lang na, um, better luck next time, gawin mo yung best mo, magbasa ka ng libro, para hindi naman medyo mababa yung grades mo. So, ganun na lang. Hindi yung sasabihin mo sa estudyante mo na, Hindi ka nagbabasa, ang baba ng mga grades mo, ba't ganon? You should avoid, avoid that. So the fifth thing that teachers should avoid is discrimination. Where are you from? Ifugao po. Do you have Wi-Fi there? Opo. Do you have TV there? Opo. Oh, really? 10 times 20. Who would like to answer? Raise your hand. Go ahead, Cassie. So, itong part na to ay based from my experience. So, na-experience ko po siya sa aking previous na school. So, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo kasi nakakababa po siya ng confidence and nakakababa siya ng self-esteem. So, I hope I-avoid po natin yung mga ganong bagay. 
So the sixth thing that teachers should avoid is giving a task on a short period of time. Pass your assignments. Extension. I have given you a lot of time to do your assignments and now you want an extension? So I have a 100 point activity here so I thought it would be easy for you so I will give you 30 minutes to finish this up and pass them today. So comment down below kung na experience mo na tong pangyayari na to. So for today, I am doing a lecture about our topic. So pay attention and save your questions at the end of the lecture. So that would be all. So, do you have any questions? Mom, I have a question. Were you not listening? I was talking for an hour and you did not hear anything? Buti pa sa ibang klase ang iingay nila pero ang tataas ng grade nila. Samantalang kayo ang iingay nyo pero hindi kayo makasagot. Ano ba yan? Stop comparing your students to the other classroom. Kasi hindi magkakapareho ang mga students ng isang classroom tsaka sa isang classroom. So mas mabuti na lang sabihin mo sa kanila na I hope maging inspiration ang ibang section sa inyo or mag-motivate sa inyo para ayusin rin ang pag-study nyo instead na compare mo sila sa ibang classroom. So, we should avoid that too. I hope you like this video and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more updates and for more upcoming videos. Support Filipino vloggers, support Ifugao vloggers, and hug Gia Ifugao! Bye-bye! Stay safe, everyone!